What's up guys? It's still MECQ Manila, Region 3 and Region 4. Uh, we see the numbers, it's getting uh, higher and higher. We won't actually see the benefits of this lockdown after about 14 days or so. That's the only time we'll be able to see. But right now, we're about 129,000. Uh, sometimes uh, I would wonder no, if we would ever reach the number of uh, 200,000. Do you think we'd reach 200,000? Well, I hope not. Cross our fingers. We'd uh, be able to bring down, that, bring down that number and help our frontliners, our medical practitioners. But we can only do that if we work together as one. And today's vlog is very important. I still think and I still feel that a lot of Filipinos have not been uh, properly wearing their masks or uh, have been very complacent as far as wearing their masks at all. In this episode, let me tell you some things that we probably do not know yet about face masks. So join me in this YouTube channel. Again, this is Doc Steve. Welcome to my channel. The dentist is in. Alright, just like what I've said, we're going to talk about a very important topic today which is all about face masks. And we're just going to talk about one particular face mask. We're going to talk about as much as face masks as we can. Well, first and foremost, the difference between a face mask and a face shield, you know, uh, according to the Center for Disease Control, is telling us that a face shield can never replace a face mask. That's very clear to all of us. No? The benefits of uh, the mask as a barrier to any droplets that, that is caused every time we breathe, we talk, we sneeze, we cough, is not successfully deterred by any face shield alone. Although I think the government right now of the Philippines is advocating the use of face shields anytime soon. No, Well, if it's really discipline that's lacking, I should say that this is we're on the right path no, to address that concern. But in all reality, you know, I believe in what the World Health Org uh, Organization is telling us that it has to be real science that's going to take us out of this uh, pandemic that we're experiencing right now. And well, based on the studies, um, very clear that our main problem is that a lot of people still are not wearing any face masks or do not understand the proper way of wearing face masks and removing face masks, uh, especially when they are in public. Okay, so number one rule, face shields do not replace face masks. Social distancing is more important than wearing a face mask. Because even if you're doing a social distancing, you're maintaining your 1.5 meters or 6 feet away from somebody else, you still need to wear a face mask. But given the scenario, uh, if you can maintain a social distance, physical distance uh, to someone about 6 feet away, then face mask should actually be appropriate or adequate, shall I say. Uh, because it's very clear. I think you've heard it in so, ma so many times in, in my previous blogs that given the scenario that there is actually proper ventilation, there is air circulation, especially if you're in open air and you can maintain a, a good social distancing, you don't even need to wear a face mask. Just like me right now. I'm alone in this room right now, so I'm not wearing any face mask. Now, another guidelines that I'd like to share with you, according to the CDC, is that when you're doing a strenuous activity, running, you know, and you're maintaining good social distancing, it's actually more dangerous to wear a face mask. Okay? So I get, I, I hope we get that clear to everyone. Uh, it's more important to wear a face mask than a face shield. And of course, if you're in a strenuous activity, it's you're better off without the face mask. Of course, you have to... Uh, uh, practice social distancing. The second important thing that I wish to share to everyone right now is that if you're using a face mask that actually has an exhalation bulb or a vent, you know, that's not recommended. Why? Because although the benefit of that is that you're able to exhale properly because air goes out, 
oh, easily through that uh, exhalation valve. The problem there is that you are able to bring out your 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 uh, your droplets. No, you have a greater, higher tendency of spreading droplets into the air if you're using an exhalation valve. No, so. There are different types of masks out there, but please do not use an, uh, a mask that has an exhalation valve or a vent. That's very clear. The third thing that I wish to share with you about face masks is that I see most of you out there are wearing surgical masks, okay? These are good masks, surgical masks, N95s, KN95s. This type of surgical masks are actually very good, but the Center for Disease Control is telling us that we should try our best to conserve this type of mask to healthcare workers, frontliners. Why? Because they need it more than we do. Okay? Maybe I, later I can explain to you uh, efficiency of different types of masks for you to better understand. But, well, some of you may find it hard. That might be a point of discussion here, but because we know how effective they are because doctors do use them doctors and dentists and other healthcare workers but in reality we're losing uh, so much uh, uh, materials no make sure that uh, there's an adequate supply for our healthcare workers remember the once upon a time a box of masks would only cost around 180 pesos 200 pesos for 50 pieces there was actually an instance during the pandemic no uh, where this mask would cost as high as 1,200, 1,500, even 2,000 pesos or more. So, appeal to everyone, surgical masks, well, they're good. We have to be cautious with the supply. And so, as per CDC guidelines, let's reserve this for medical practitioners, healthcare workers, or frontline. Okay, number four. Uh, fourth thing that we probably don't know about wearing masks is that Everyone should wear it except children two years old and below, according to the Center for Disease Control. And add to that, person who really have a difficulty in breathing, those who have respiratory problems or would simply not be able to breathe properly, you know, and uh, are, are sick with a, a certain ailment that they cannot breathe properly and would cause them to uh, get worse. So. Uh, that's a, a, also an exception why people shouldn't wear masks. No, there's also another one for uh, people who are actually uh, deaf and would rely on the movement of one's lips in order to understand what the other people or the other person is actually saying. So, three exceptions why masks uh, are exempted from from uh, certain individuals. Number five, okay. There are different types of surgical masks and cloth masks out there. You know? But what we need to understand is what ideally would be the material or characteristic of a good face mask. So I took the liberty of cutting this face mask to show you what's inside. Just for us to see what's inside. I'm actually cutting two types of face masks here. So what's inside? Let's open. There are actually three layers. Okay, three layers. The outermost, this one should be, like I said, characteristics. It should be moisture resistant or water repellent at least. The inner should be uh, moisture absorbent. So absorb your uh, droplets coming from your mouth when we talk, when we breathe. and What's inside, very important, it's actually the filter. You know, this one is the filter. All right, so I'm going to take a look at another surgical mask. So this one, as you can see, only has two layers. You no, know? as an outer, co outer covering, the blue one, the white one, I think there's not much of a difference between the two, but nonetheless, we find out that there's nothing inside. And that's something that we should be worried about. You know? So when you're securing a mask, make sure it has three 
layers. And like I said, there has to be a plastic or a, at least a metal that you can mold to your nose. This one doesn't have that uh, metal at all no, or plastic. So be careful of what, which surgical mask you have out there. Very important to consider the characteristics and the material of it. Characteristics of a good surgical mask or any mask for that matter. Of course, you'd always prefer uh, the loops on the ears to be garterized in order to provide good fit so that it would snug fit the mass properly. Now, ideally, the uh, how, outer covering, which is the colored one, the lighter one or the white colored is the one that is facing your lips. Okay? So, most of the masks out there, no, a proper way of, way, way of wearing it is to basically show the color of the mask. Show the color of the mask. So if it's, you find some blue, green, any other color out there, always show the color of the mask. So in this case, the blue one goes outside, the white one goes inside. Now some said that if you are actually sick and you do not want other people to uh, be uh, transmitted, no, you don't want to uh, get to for other people to get sick. You're supposed to wear them the other way around, okay? Uh, want to protect yourself, and if you want to be protected from other people, or if you want uh, other people to be protected from you. Now, there were studies which uh, clarified that, no. It's very small difference, very insignificant difference for us to justify the, the, the proper wearing of masks. No? Uh, so the last one, of course, are cloth masks. Masks made out of cloth. These are not surgical grade. They are not advised for surgical procedures. Uh, what's nice about them is you can put up different designs it's for your advocacy. We heal as one. You can put the logo of the Philippine Dental Association, Sugar Away, Iwas to Decay. That's our advocacy there. Okay, so different types of masks. Now, what I like about this type of mask is that, well, I prefer the garterized ones. Okay. So again, better fit. You can talk properly. Okay. And the beauty of it is they are, of course, not disposable. You can reuse them. But similar fashion, when if you're removing your face mask, never touch it at front, always at the back. Okay. And have them wash. As far as quality or characteristics, you'd again prefer the outer part to be water repellent. Inside should be soft or uh, moisture absorbent. No? So that's, those, that's a, an ideal face mask. No? Uh, preferably, it should be able to slit in some filter so it's best that you have a filter still inside because uh, what provides the protection is actually the filter okay so those are your cloth masks preferably worn uh, by uh, everyone and uh, not relying on surgical masks okay so, how to wash them, dip them in uh, warm water, uh, bleach detergent, five minutes, and then just wash them. Make sure they dry before you use them again. So, cloth mask, not disposable, environment friendly. Okay, so that's it concerning the difference between a cloth mask and face mask. More or less, if you wear cloth mask, they should have the same characteristics uh, of that of a surgical mask, no? As much as possible, it should have three layers, no? The outer one, uh, which is uh, water repellent or moisture resistant, and the inner side, which is uh, moisture absorbent to absorb all the, uh, the droplets that is coming outside of our mouth and our nose as well. Now, let's just uh, look at the efficiency of uh, different masks that we have. Uh, this video was, is actually going to show us no? Uh, to the differences, no? it, uh, how effective. Now, this video will actually show us 
uh, how effective the face masks are. So, very important to take note no? uh, that uh, according to this video, regardless of the type of mask that you use, whether it's a N95 or a uh, cloth mask or a bandana or a surgical mask, the important thing that you are able to disperse the uh, uh, droplets coming from your mouth and your nose to the side. You're not sending it as a projectile, so you lessen actually the force of uh, air coming out of your mouth and our nose uh, so that it won't be able to reach another person right away. So it gets dispersed. So regardless of mass, material, and so on and so forth, it's very important that we actually wear one. Okay? So for me, uh, we reserve as much as possible all this uh, surgically uh, grade mask for frontliners. Uh, I still use cloth masks uh, once in a while, but uh, maybe in the next vlog I'll show you what I usually wear right now. And it's very important that when we use cloth mask, if you prefer a cloth mask which is cheaper for the general public, make sure it's thick enough. You know, like I said water repellent outside inside moisture absorbent okay so i hope you learned a thing or two about face masks in this episode again uh, this is doc steve and uh, thank you for watching please continue click like and subscribe to my youtube channel see you next time for more videos uh, concerning uh, different things you know? uh, take care everyone please continue to wear your face mask